Hey guys, it's the Frugal Nista and welcome to my house. We're going to start with my Christmas tour. I'm going to try to make this quick. We're going to start with the front door. Took it back old school. This is my vintage wreath, my first wreath ever. Put that on my front door this year, bringing out that red and green. If you come out to the outside, above the wreath, I decided to use a little bit of garland. On the right side, I have a Christmas tree inside of an urn. In one corner, and on that corner, I have another small tree in a Santa planter. And that's the front of the house, guys. Let's see what we have on the inside. Now the first major change you're going to notice is the focal point. In previous years, I've always used my four-year table. I moved it out and featured this little love seat. You guys saw it when I picked this up from Pier 1. Changed that out this year, so it gave the room a totally different look. Um, kind of moved out of my comfort zone, decorating a love seat instead of a table. But this is what I came up with. My theme this year, my love for trees, so I just embraced it all, guys. And did three trees in my foyer. And my theme. Home for the holidays, and I'll show you why. Now, my tiny inspirations are on this little small tree with the little red bulbs. I'll get kind of close. Look at these little salt and pepper shakers that I picked up from Walmart. It's the home for the holiday theme that is everywhere, guys. It is definitely on trend this Christmas season. Anything red with a Christmas tree on top. This is actually a little station wagon and my love for christmas trees i just thought the look was so cute these are the only two pieces that i picked up in this whole theme but i'm using them as ornaments and that's what can you know that's what i came up with for my um theme for my foyer now as for the first tree in the foyer this little small tree love these red retro bulbs and i decided to decorate it with a few ornaments besides the little salt and pepper shakers. You guys remember her? I featured her in one of my, what I bought for Christmas. She has her little hands out. I, I think she's just saying, thank you, Jesus, for this reason that we are celebrating Christmas. This one has her hand in the praying position. Those are so cute to me. And I just kind of always pick up things when I see them that kind of represent my girls. And speaking of my girls, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at my little munchie cheese back in the day. Those are my daughters. I also have two little ornaments from previous Christmas. Wow, time goes so fast. And guys, the home for the holiday theme could not be any truer to me. I just get giddy. I hope you guys can hear it in my voice. I just love decorating, love Christmas time. Um, and that, to me, that's what it's all about. You know, the birth of Jesus Christ and just celebrating family. And I don't know. I don't know. I just get all, I don't know, mushy this time of year. But I used a few plaid ornaments that you guys saw me haul also. So that's tree number one. So those little bitty salt and pepper shakers had to hone in everything that I was trying to do to this room. I, I went into a Christmas block, I'm telling you. Okay, so that's little tree number one. And at the base of it, I just used some gold leaves at the base, a little green lantern, a little red ornament, and I have it sitting atop a gold box. And there is a deer also on the left side of the love seat. Okay, now let's talk about this white love seat. Oh my goodness, I spent seriously a full day with my house looking toe up from the floor up trying to figure out how I was gonna do this. Because it is so white and I love so much color, I was just lost. So pulling these trees and all of these, you know, warm colors in, like the warm blanket, which is also my scarf that I wear. You guys have probably been seeing me wear that. I throw that on all the time. It's having dual purpose. I was trying to find a cute little pillow for it, 
The one I wanted never did go on sale, but I think that looks cute. You know, it just kind of warms up the little love seat. And I know y'all remember my little snowman's hat. I picked that up from Kirkland's this year. That's new to my collection. I sat at the top, a cute little sweater box. Since I didn't use my big 12 foot or my nine foot tree in here, this is actually a tree topper, but I just have Mr. Squirrel sitting on top of it. I thought that was cute. So it just looks like you're coming into, uh, you know, a tree farm. Like, wow. Now, I'm sure I'll probably lose count, but on the right side of the love seat, just to add more color and to give it more warmth, another tree. These are the slender trees that I bought from Big Lots a few years ago. I did not want any ornaments competing with all the other things that I have going on, so I just have a little tree topper. And this tree is slender enough that it just kind of flanks this side of the room. Down below that, a little snowman, another little red ornament, and that mercury glass green tree sitting atop a gold box. And all that's housed with a little plant basket. Now I keep going back to the sofa. It created so many dilemmas for me. It's so low to the ground that I don't think this will be its permanent home. I'm just using it here for the Christmas season. It was so low, the height of the room, I need to bring something to draw your eye up. So I use this mirror that you guys have seen before. I put a pretty wreath on it going with the whole colors that I have. The mirror actually gives the room a little bit more depth. I love those bronze colors. And I just affixed that atop using some ribbon. Okay, pulled in a, a few ornaments, a big, you know, red ball at the top. And then on my landing, another tree that matches the one to the right. And it also pulls your eye up to the top using the same tree topper. And at the base of the tree, I have a little deer. You guys see my little Pier 1 deer. He has a little garland around his neck. Another mercury red tree with a gold and red ornament. And I have that just housed in a basket with a little bit of plaid. And that is it for the foyer. With the exception of I have garland going all the way up the stair rail at the base. I also have the garland coming across the top and I did a few loops going across the top. Up next piano is rail. the piano room. I have all of my nativities in this room, guys. Uh, starting with the center table. I house the collection or a group of nativities along with the baby Jesus. I also found this beautiful cross. My Bible teaches me that Jesus is a reason for the season, but to also to be especially mindful that he went to the cross to save me from my sins. I decided to put that cross in a beautiful treasure box. Next to the cross is another new addition to my collection, this depiction of the baby Jesus. Some of these nativities I've had for a while. That's another new nativity. And I love, you know, just displaying them this time of the year. On this side table, I have another nativity. It matches the furnishings in this room. The tree also houses all of my nativity ornaments. That I've collected throughout the years. On the other side of the couch, I have a sign that reads celebrate, Mary, jolly, family, Noel, love, peace and miracles. And I have that nestled with some garland. On this opposite side of the room, the piano is housing all of my angels. You guys have seen all of these. I don't think there are any new ones in the bunch. Some of these make music.
but this is just a collection of angels that I've had throughout the years. The only thing different I did do, guys, was use a mirror to kind of give this area a little bit of light. Along with the mirror, I used this frame and a tree decal along with a few snowflakes. Here's another little new item. This came from Dollar Tree. I think all of us picked up that little Dollar Tree Charlie Brown tree, so I decided to house my angels on it. Coming down from the side of the piano, I put this topiary that I featured in a free find video. If you guys don't know what a free find is, check out the description box. I thought that looked nice in that corner. And the last thing in this room is a tree decorated in gold using magnolias. I have a few of my angel ornaments on it. And because this is a piano room, I found these beautiful music notes and violins, trumpets. And I just thought that made a pretty display on this tree. At the base of the tree, I have a small gold deer. And instead of using a tree skirt, I decided to use some fall wreaths. Okay, we're gonna come across the hall to the dining room. A little elf is greeting us as we come to the door. He has two big, huge, gigantic ornaments. He's holding an icicle that lights up. Behind him, I also have a lantern. I'm using a white tree in my dining room for the first time. And I think this year is the first year I finally got white right. White is so hard to photograph though. You really, it, it really isn't doing it justice. I think this is my prettiest tree. At the top, I'm using a clear ice um, snowflake. Coming down, I'm using all silver ornaments and white. I also use two of my gifts from my husband. My little ballerinas are on this tree, adding a pop of color. And other than the white ornaments, I'm using this beautiful swag that really is pretty. Look at the details on that swag. It just really matches all of the white ornaments that I'm using. Icicles, most of these came from um, Big Lots. I have a little dove on it. I'm using some of those mercury balls that we found from Dollar Tree. And behind it, I'm also using a mirror to give it more sparkle. Okay, on my table, my centerpiece, another elf. He's holding a piece of white garland along with an ornament. I have a little white fox with her little blinged out uh, buffalo check scarf. Another big ornament in silver. A little lantern. There's a deer. Two of those little blinged out reindeer antlers that I picked up from Walmart. I have that kind of nestled in some snow. And three little white trees. Still going with the white, if you look on my buffet server. All white and silver, starting with the champagne bucket. I filled that with some snow, housing three of those mercury-like balls we all picked up. A little silver ornament, a white wreath with a pretty straw star. Down from that is my white nativity a sign that says joy, Noel, peace, family, believe, Christmas. A little mercury voltive holder and a reindeer on a mercury candlestick. And as we leave the room, I have this big white reindeer in this corner. I put a little bow on him to deck him out. A little straw tree and a little Santa. Made a nice little trio there. We have moved into the kitchen. Y'all know this little Santa. I have him sitting on the corner. 
I moved the table that was in the foyer into my kitchen area. And I have everything housed as if we're about to get ready to have our Christmas brunch. This year, Christmas is on a Sunday, so I have everything all set out, getting ready to set the table. My little cake stand, all of my dishes, a little Christmas tree. I did a mirror in here, add a little bit of whimsy with this star cut out in wood. Only new Santa I think I have is this little guy. Picked him up this year. I have all my Santas housed in the kitchen. Okay, fast forward. It's the day after Christmas, but I wanted to finish my tour. We went away on a mini vacation for Mirabella's birthday. So everything previously was recorded about two weeks ago and now it's a day after Christmas, but it's still Christmas season. And I still want to show you guys my plans about our Christmas brunch did not happen, but this is how my table looked, you know, for the Christmas season. A lot of treats for the children on the ledge. I have a few Santas here. I'll go through them really quick because you guys have seen all of these. There are no new ones. I did get a new Santa for Christmas. I might show you guys. guys. Take a peek at him. I'll lift him out. The family got me this for Christmas this year. Isn't he cute? He is decked out in red. Has little specks on. Look at that. Precious. Okay, so this is just a ledge. A few treats. These little poppers. I did three trees. More poppers. Three Santas in that corner with a tree. A little Merry Christmas sign. Across the top of the window, I decided to put a little bit of garland, that Christmas sign. I showed you guys that in a free find. That was really cute. It's a banner. Uh, more garland across the top of my cabinet. And on this side, there's a sign that says, you must believe if you want to receive. And my little four foot tree I put on a table. And I'm loving these little snowball lights that I found for free last year. Those are so cute. No ornaments because there's so much going on at the base of the table. I still enjoy pulling these out. I don't think I'll ever not try to pull out each and every one. Been collecting so long. If you come up to my little coffee bar area, I have a little sign, two little ornaments. And on this side is my little coffee station. Y'all probably remember that mug from Dollar Tree. A few more Santas. This one houses candy canes, but I've stuck a few K-cups in and there. if you come on this side of the kitchen, you named it, more Santas. I put my little cat family at atop my microwave. And this year I did not pull out all my girls' pictures, so I'm getting a little bit better. But I have two little pictures of my daughters. It's not Christmas until this little cat family comes out. Uh, I think that's a little placemat under it. Two little tchotchkes. Another little picture. I love that picture frame. That's why I put it out here. More Santas. Little tree. You guessed it. More Santas. I've had this for about 20 years. It goes up and down. I always pull that out this time of year. It's a little girl and a little boy and more Santas. And on the opposite end of this kitchen, I have a little table of Santas also with a Christmas tree. In the guest bath, a few Christmas towels. You come across the back. A little jingle sign, a little small tree, a little flickering LED light, and some cute little skates. I always change out my little soaps. Pick that up from Marshall's. Baby, it's cold outside. Look at little Miss Fox. 
have her sitting there. And on this side, a few, we wish you a Merry Christmas napkins. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Inside this little Santa bucket, tinsel bucket, a few tissues, and Mr. Owl. I always get a ton of questions about my artwork that I have in my bathroom and coming down my hall. I know it's not Christmas, but oh my goodness, I love these babies. I'll leave the artist's information in the description box. I consider these all of my little girls. <laughs> Now the last room on the Christmas tour will have to be the family room. There is decoration upstairs, but I have guests, so y'all have to see the guest tree later. And Lord knows y'all have seen enough trees already, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, we are in my family room. We went back vintage in this room. I have not used a multicolor tree in ages. I don't think Mirabella has ever seen me use one. This room is Mirabella's inspiration. She wanted color. We'll start with my little ugly wreath. Y'all remember my mom gave me that. I have to pull it out. My mom is no longer with me. And I have that kind of just sitting in the corner. First of all, it's really soft. The kids have been enjoying playing with it. That's a great little something to toss around, but it just lets me know that she is here in spirit with me. If we come over here, I'll give you a little view of the fireplace. I uh, did a little symmetry there with all the colors. Use those tinsel trees, one on the left, one on the right. Did two little stockings. In the middle of the fireplace, a little bit of uh, glitter and bling, those uh, decals. Mirabella stuck those on there. Two cone trees. Some green mercury glass. Two boxwoods and some hot pink mercury glass. Now, I think Mirabella did a great job at decorating this tree at the top. She used that pretty blue. I think it looks very retro with all of these glittery, sparkly bugs, bulbs. I'm not saying words, sparkly, glittery. All of that tinsel. I haven't used tinsel on a tree in ages. A collection of nutcrackers, those hot pinks, fuchsias, those little gold nutcrackers I've had for a, a few seasons now. We use that actually for her birthday party. Next to the tree is this Merry Christmas sign that matches perfectly. Picked that up from the Christmas tree shop and I think I paid a whopping 90 cent for that. It was like the end of end of clearance. And the lady's like, okay, I'm letting these go for 90 cent. You want one? And I grabbed one. Pretty blues, that chartreuse, magenta, and that pretty cursive writing of Merry Christmas. At the base of the tree is where I have my little Christmas village. Another thing that I pull out because I have a smaller child and it's all about tradition. Okay guys, my cobblestone village is from the 2002 collection from Dollar Tree. I pull it out every year. This year we use multicolor lights underneath the snow cotton, which really looks pretty. All the houses are lit. Mirabella helped me pull out all of this this year. And as long as the kids still enjoy it, I probably will pull it out. That's probably why I haven't gone to the glitz and glam side yet. I still have small children and they like all of the colors and you know, and that's what it's about to me. It might change, but yeah, love pulling this out every year. To come on that side, my little cobblestone village came with the booklet that told you about cobblestone village being next to the sea. And look at the little lighthouse. Now I have a mini collection of nutcrackers. In this corner, I have the big nutcracker that you guys have seen before on this little butler's table. A few more nutcrackers. 
a family photo that we took at Mirabella's birthday party. The reason why I even started collecting Nutcrackers, we had a Nutcracker themed birthday for Mirabella one year. On this little toy chest, I decided to put a few Christmas items there, that little pink sparkle deer, a few treats, a little metal present, this Nutcracker book, A few more nutcrackers on this side of the chair, sitting atop some books. On my coffee table, a little blue tree, another little brown nutcracker, I found him. A few more nutcrackers, a few Christmas treats, pictures of my little nieces and nephews, a few Christmas books, pictures of the girls when they were little. And that is it guys, my Christmas tour for 2016, which is a day late and a dollar short. But the family is starting to stir. Somebody has gotten up all decked out in his Christmas presents. Hey. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How he has on his Christmas pajamas, Christmas socks that the girls gave him. Styling. Styling. <laughs> Hello. Again, guys, it's all about family. Apologies for my tour being up late. I want to wish you guys a happy new year. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Enjoy family. For those of family members that are no longer here, we miss you. Take advantage of the family members that you do have here. If someone is asking to see you, come see them. Let them come see you. Take care, guys, and I hope you have the best at 2017 offers. Bye, guys.